Welcome guys to the slow put well where today we're covering a deck that for some reason zero people are talking about I don't understand why on paper this seems bonkers when the infinity zone leaks were first revealed the first card I looked at was this one I thought yo I can't wait to profile this one and here I am bringing it to you the first list for this uh, Rhyperia baby first on YouTube first wherever let's get involved Right then, so like I said in the intro, welcome guys to the Slow Poke World, where today we're continuing our Darkness Ablaze content. And today we're going to uh, get going with Viperia. And it's actually a card that, though, I haven't seen anyone talking about. And like I said, it's the first card I really noticed when I saw the Infinity Zone. It's like we all knew Etern uh, Eternus would be good and all that good stuff. But I think Viperia is set to uh, really be a super strong control deck, right? So, let's have a look at him then, shall we? So, we'll start off with Viperia V. He is a basic Pokemon. Move down a little bit. I apologise. There we go. Uh, basic Pokemon, 230 HP. So that's really big. Um, two attacks. Uh, first attack is Drill Run, and it is our build around for one fighting, double colourless. You do 80 and discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. So we're doing 80, um, and we're discarding energy off our opponent's active. Any time, I think. And any denial in this next format is going to be really, really strong because you know stuff like a Turnus does won't, won't run any energy XL. So anytime we can just rip energy off, it's going to be super strong. We also hit a turn for weakness as well. So yeah. But to uh, supplement our energy denial, we actually play a 2-2 of the Clefable from was it, uh, Rebel Clash, I believe. And the, the Clefable's got an ability. When you evolve it, you can return an energy from your opponent's active to their hand, right? Yeah. Oh, no, to the top of their deck? Sorry, to the top of their deck, I should say. So, in combination with Clefable and Rhyperia, you're actually technically removing two energy off your opponent's active, which is absolutely devastating. And you're stopping their top deck from anything good, right? Because they're always going to keep continuing to top deck that energy unless you um, unless they shuffle their deck somehow. So, being able to remove two energy is nuts. Like, if they have a turn that's going, even if they play Weavile, right? You can just take off two energy, hit them for weakness, 160, which is a two shot. Um, and then it's just like, well, what are they even going to do? Like, so yeah, super, super strong, in my opinion. Three Jirachis. This is just going to help us find our welders, find our combo pieces, find our either incense, find our scoop up nets. Because obviously, scoop up nets works with Cafebo, which is absolutely diabolical. Uh, and Jirachi is going to help us tick ourselves over. And then we play one Mon Report Mewtwo for the same vein. Because we are playing scoop up nets already. I don't think it, uh, I don't think it harms us to want a Mewtwo. Obviously, when you bench it, um, you can take a support off from your discard pile and put it to the top of your deck. You can just leave it there, top deck it later. Um, actually, we're already playing scoop up nets, so I don't see why not. Um, and then the Dene is just going to help us draw through because I think the Dene is almost an auto, including any uh, next format um, deck, really. Well, let's go on to the supporters next. I've got my deck in the wrong order here. Let me just sort that out. There we go. So, we... Oh, hold on. Okay. It should be four welder. Bear with me. I just find it because I've just mixed the deck up and I can't find it. But yeah, because the attack cost is pretty much um, colourless uh, in Rhyperia, you can just attach fighting... For the turn and then welder on two fires and you're good to go and i probably should say as well <laughs> my theory has a second attack heavy rock cannon for one fighting three colorless you do 210 okay and you can't attack you can't use that attack next turn so all we have to do is just attach one more energy to my theory to get the second attack going really good cleanup or with welder like i said it takes three colorless attack cost right so welder super strong it's going to let us get going a turn even if they're like magic ko uh my theory, it's super hard by the way um, you can just attach welder, uh, attach double welder, and away you go, and see some cards as well. And then three buffs orders. Uh, the the one downside to this deck is that you can only hit energy from the active. So we're going to really want to try and hit. Uh, make sure they're trying to set something up on the bench, which they should be doing. You can just try and boss orders back up, and then get to work. Because even if they do start start trying to set up on the bench, you have a few turns to find your bosses. Then you can boss orders it up. You can uh, drill one, double cafable, or just drill one cafable and really set them back. Right, so super strong we play four scoop pop nets so these sleeves are pretty slippy four scoop up nets can be really good for maneuvering our jirachis our mewtwo our cafables so we can reuse super strong in here let me tell you <laughs> two giant half this is just so we can find our fire energies because you know we're going to want to split obviously fightings and fire giant half is going to make sure we can always find those fires play four quick ball just to help us find all our basics, really fine. Then they find me to find you. Actually, we need to get Kefairies down relatively early. We play four up here, so hopefully it shouldn't be too hard to find them. We don't want to lead it most of the time. So Quick Ball is going to help us find everything else. 
four switch. Oh my lord, <laughs> these sleeves. I apologize. Hold on. Oh dear. All right, let me let me let me let me let me try that again. Hold on. <laughs> Let's let them out. So four switch. There you go. Yeah, there might be a little bit too much, but I like running four switch in next one, man. In case you try and bust us all, just store another Viperia. But they try and bust all up like a fable, and you haven't got um, scoop up net in hand, you can just switch back out and get to rocking. Or it's going to mean we can get that turn one draw one off uh, as often as possible. We play three energy spinner. That's just so we can find the fighting, so we can satisfy our attack cost. Nothing really. And I guess for deck thinning purposes as well, because we, we are just going to try and grow our hand throughout the game. So on off turns, we can just take energies out of deck, really. Three Evo Incense. We, have, we don't quite want enough Pokemon to warrant playing Pokecoms. Kind of sad. But Evo Incense is going to help us find our like, Fables, really. Four Poke Gear. It's just so we can find our Welder. We sort of live or die by the Welder, really, right? So Poke Gear is going to help us find them and find our boss's orders. And once we find a, one or two, we can just mute to uh, keep, keep going with the loop like that. So we don't really... Once we get going, it should be okay. Two of the new Toughness Cape. And that's going to give um, the basic Pokemon it's attached to an extra 50 health, right? So now Hyperia's got 280. That's just ridiculous. So it's got 280 health, you know, and we're taking energy off a turn. How are they going to knock out three of them, right? How are they going to do that? <laughs> just super insult, really. The um, toughness cape. And then to round up the list, we play four basic fighting and nine fire. And I think that's a pretty decent split, to be honest with you. You know, we don't really have a ton of energy. We just need something to get going. We probably won't even need more than two wide periods in the game. Um, so, yeah. Let me know what you think about the list, guys. You could sort of cut into your Evo Incense line. You know, try and put some hammers and stuff in. But I thought, with such reliable energy discarding here, I don't think we really want to rely on um, crushing hammers. Or you could look at it in a sense that because we've got such reliable uh, energy discard here, we can play hammers. Originally, I didn't even have the Fable. I was just like crushing hammers. But I thought, you know, let's just get some super reliable, consistent energy discard throughout the whole game and just attrition them out, basically. That's what we're trying to do. So thank you for watching. As always, you know, if you like the Darkness uh, Blaze content, make sure you subscribe. Hit check out the playlist, the playlist that's in the description where I've got all of the Darkness Blaze content. Okay, got some tabletop games and loads of deck profiles too, okay? But uh, thank you for watching as always, uh, and I'll see you all next time.